for the last part of the new syllabus, it will be this gradient function, okay, and turning point identification. So first thing that I'm going through will be gradient function, which is also known as dy dx, okay. So for part one, to help you to construct a better understanding, first I change everything into something with power of x, and if there's no coefficient or constant in front of the x, I will put a 1 over there. So our equation from x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 5 will now be changed into 1x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 plus 1x to the power of 1 plus 5x to the power of 0. So part 2 which is the gradient function calculation. So first thing that I did was to extract the power out to the front. So we have 1 times 3 times x to the power of 3. Okay, so you're required to do some changes to the power since you extracted it out. So it becomes 3 minus 1 followed by minus bracket 2 times 2 x to the power of 2 minus 1 plus 1 times 1 x to the power of 1 minus 1 and for the last one which is 0 times 5 x to the power of 0 minus 1 so I didn't include this because 0 times 5 will get you 0 immediately okay so our dy dx will now becomes 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 Okay, moving on to the next slide, okay, for you to identify the turning point, this will be when your dy dx equals to 0. Okay, the turning point will also be known as the local maximum and local minimum coordinate. So part 1, so since I set it equals to 0, then I factorize it, I get 3x minus 1 and x minus 1. So x value can be 1 over 3 or 1 then substitute this into the original equation that we have at first then you will get your turning point for y when x equals to 1 over 3 as 5.15 and when x equals to 1 your y will be 5 so the turning point the local maximum will be 1 over 3 5.15 and the local minimum will be 1 5 so this will be it for this particular chapter okay you must go through some question do some practice to construct a better understanding on this particular topic